friends, welcome to Marquee Soap. Today we are making the first part of our Harry Potter chessboard soap. So this is a, uh, a two day soap making um, because we're going to section it in fours. I'm not wearing gloves and I just now saw that. Oh, that is not safe. Let me grab gloves. I don't think I've ever forgot to put gloves on before. Anyway, we're using the heat transfer method because I do not have my low water ready for this batch. So when you want to make a batch of soap on the go, you can just use your hot lye water to melt down your hard oils and butters, which is what I just did here. And now we're ready to blend it. So the fragrance that we are using today is bergamot grapefruit. It is an essential oil and fragrance oil blend and it smells lovely. I'm going to split off just a little bit here. I'm using this paper cup. Because I want to kind of it to look like it's maybe a little marbled marbled and here I'm going to put grays 50 shades just a little we will use our frother set this aside and in our big bucket I'm going to use some cashmere mixed with a little bit of the Gray's 50 Shades Mica. So what I'm gonna do, I don't really know how, maybe we'll just pour our gray in. Yeah, we'll just do, do that with our gray. Just a little in the pot. So I'm going to go seat pot this, put it in my preheated oven overnight. Um, my oven is set at 170 degrees right now. And I will go put my soap loaf, my soap loaf into the oven, turn the oven off, and just let it rest there until tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll come back. We will get this cut and sectioned off, and then we will work on our other half of this chessboard. So I'll see you in just a minute. Hello friends and welcome back. We are going to unmold and cut the um, bergamot grapefruit 
chessboard soap. So I don't really have high hopes for this soap. After I did our second layer, I'm like, oh, I don't know how it's going to turn out. So yeah, I can see what I was concerned, yeah. So this is what I thought would happen. <laughs> We're not really quite even. Um, I mean, everything can be beveled and cleaned up. It's not a big deal. We did get some soda ash. That's easy to steam off, no problem. But let us just take a look and see what the inside of this looks like. <laughs> I mean, it's totally crooked. <laughs> These three sides are good. It's just this one. <laughs> so, so, yeah. So this one still smells really pretty and you know it's still a good bar of soap so I don't know I don't know what we'll do with it. it it's just not it doesn't look good it didn't turn out correctly which I knew it wouldn't because as soon as I laid this this layer in on the top um, I, I felt it like slide over I'm like oh it'll be fine and instantly I'm like that was awful thinking knew better then oh it'll be fine it's not fine but we also have our in beds to put on top so maybe it'll be okay let's see so here's the soap and we have a couple of our chest pieces here I mean, if we can just like cover up some of the mistakes, it's okay. I mean, you'll still be able to see it was a mistake when you get the back and see the hole, but it's not bad. We'll see. We'll see if it makes it to the shop or not. Sometimes when I, I um, make a soap and then I don't like it, I will donate it. So this might be a donating soap, we'll see. I very rarely throw soap away. Um, you know, if it's just not, not up to what I would consider okay to sell, then I donate it, but we'll see. All right, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time, bye. All right, so I just wanna pop in again real quick and show you how I decided to fix them. So I have my beveler planer here and I'm just gonna take a bar and we are just going to plane off until that over, I don't know, until it's flat. So the soap is still really soft. I just cut it, so it is a good time to, to bevel these. You just have to be careful because every little thing will indent the soap. And I just about took my finger off, so I better watch what I'm doing. Okay, so now to fix this hole, I'm going to use some of the soap scraps that are inside of here. And this is like a, a pliable dough still. And we're just gonna kind of fill it in. Once I feel like there's enough soap on there, I'm just going to wipe off the excess. And then I will go through and bevel these as the soap gets a little bit harder. And then we will take our melt and pour in beds and put them on. And yes, it is a little bit crooked, but it's still a good bar of soap and that's how these are going to be. So 
if you are interested in these, they will be at a nice discounted rate in my shop on May the 2nd. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.